a friend, an alleged assistant of Will Smith for years, dropped some salacious bombshells yesterday against the actor. So salacious that I never expected him to respond. But boy, did he ever. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. If you missed yesterday's report, we did break down these remarks coming from a character named Brother Bilal, who is in Will Smith's book, Will. Uh, has photos and video of him with Will for a while. Will calls him one of his boys. They clearly had a history, how friendly and so on, yet to be determined. But this person claims to have been a big part in Will's life throughout his whole career, before Jada came in the picture, before his first son. Uh, and uh, he knew the actor very well. Well, he's on this interview with Tasha Kay, and he made some allegations that Will had relations with a fellow actor, Dwayne Martin, who's been a long-term friend of both Will and Jada. And Steph actually brought in some big receipts they are very, they have a big history. Will even dropped a lot of money, 1.5 million or some some number close to it to help his friend at one point. A lot of questions then surrounded this couple, so much so that Will made a comment. His reps uh, responded to not only TMZ, New York Post. I mean, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Uh, because, and honestly, now he's, he's making the story even bigger, but he wants to make it clear that no, these are, these allegations from, uh, this guy are unequivocally false man claiming to be his former, a former friend and assistant to the actor, brother Blell made the headlines yesterday, uh, in an interview with Tasha Kay and it got serious pickup. It sure did. In the interview, Bilal said he saw Will and Duane engaging in, yep, relations. We're not going to play the clip again. If you want to go watch the clip, we broke it down and gave you a lot more detail on Bilal. Dwayne and so on. I'll put it at the end of this video. So hopefully you guys will watch that next or I'll put it up here. Hopefully it's, it's one of those I cards. It's, it's up there. Go check it out. Uh, anyway, brother Bilal made all these comments and yes, Will's rep, uh, responded to it. Uh, a rep for Will denies the allegation completely telling TMZ the story is completely fabricated and the claim is unequivocally false. Further, a source close to the situation tells us that Will is considering taking legal action following Bilal's remarks. Uh, and again, more images. This guy was pretty much at like every premiere of Will's uh, uh, for a while there. Um, oh, wait, this, uh, let's see here. Yeah, here's, bro. this is, this is him? Um, these are Dwayne, actually, where there's a lot of images of brother Bilal. They're in the video. You'll have to watch. Um, sorry, my eyes are still a little funky. Hence the glasses and the surgery. But there is evidence that this guy, Brother Bilal, really does a history, as does Duane. These two have a history together. Um, and uh, it just it, it opened up a lot of questions as to, well, is Will Smith hiding this? Ultimately, at the end of the day, like it's none of our business. Why would this guy reveal such a thing? Why would this friend ex-assistant Hollywood entrepreneur want to put out in the in the world, his private relationship. It's weird because if it's true, okay, so what if it's not true, it's even just more weird. Why would you put out such a false thing out there to try to, 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 is it a bad thing? Like, that's the other thing. Like, why is this a bad thing? Like, okay. He's hiding it from the public. He's pretending to be straight. So he's, so he's not okay. I still don't care so what people do behind closed doors consensually it's none of our damn business. It's just not. And so for this guy to reveal that, to spill the, the secrets, just shows he's a total salacious, untrustworthy jerk, in my opinion. Uh, you only have so much word and you start sharing salacious details about people just because for clout. Uh, it proves what kind of person you really are. And uh, I don't understand what Will has done that's wrong here. Okay, so he's maybe hiding a relationship. None of our damn business. <laughs> It's none of our damn business. But what I find more interesting about this story is the fact that it's like, who cares? No, no. And why, after everything that Jade has put out there, emasculating Will like crazy, this is the thing that Will's reps have jumped out on. I mean, I've never seen Will's reps jump on something so quickly. And guys, it's all over now. Denies, he denies, he denies, he's not gay, I'm not gay. Guys, I'm not gay, I'm not gay, I'm not gay. Kind of sounds like somebody who's maybe gay. <laughs> I mean, honestly, but it's just weird. Why did he feel the need to put this out there so loudly? He wanted to make it clear. Uh, these reps are all over, speaking to the tabloids and everything else. Nope, nope. And it's not like, you know, a source. This is a rep for Will Smith. Will Smith's team's denying it. 
This is, again, this isn't a source. This is Will Smith's team. A rep for Will denies it and says we're considering legal action. Are, why? For what? Is that really defamatory to imply? How, is that, how do you lose business because you're gay? Like, that's the other thing that's really weird about it. Like, it's treating it like he's done something nefarious and sinister. Being gay is not sinister and nefarious. So what's the defa What's the, I mean, it's not true. So therefore is that it's, it's interesting. Like, is that really, I mean, it's not true, but how the defamation needs to show and, you know, malicious intent, all these things to prove that you're trying to harm his character. And I would argue the things that Jada has done to you, Will has way worse hurt your career than if you're gay. Honestly, if Will's gay, it would clear up so much stuff, I think, and justify some of the actions of why he's let Jada do so much for so long. It's just weird to me. If I'm if I'm Will Smith, I, who cares about being gay? I'm way more bothered by the fact that Jada keeps putting out all this nonsense about my private life, our kids, in the public. Do you know what I mean? So to see him and his reps get angry over this, it's just, it's it's strange to me, man. It's strange to me. Look, if you're not gay, you want to people not, let people know. Yeah, not gay. But again, as they as it says in Seinfeld, not that there's anything wrong with that. That's the problem. We uh, we, we can't paint oh he's gay as a bad thing it's not a bad thing guys we gotta we gotta get over that i think we all have i thought we all have it's 2023 i feel like we've all grown tremendously over the years to learn that's not a bad thing and sure guys like to just use that as a joke uh because they're so masculine oh my god i'd never be with a guy it's still used as a joke in a lot of communities i get it but Will, come on, is this really that good of a look that this is the first time we're getting such a harsh denial and a stand up for yourself when I'm not gay, I'm not gay. What about all the stuff Jade is putting out there about you? The entanglements, all this stuff makes you look so weird, man. Well, we're not together. I don't really like him, Tupac. Do you guys see what I'm saying? It's just, it's weird to me. Look, I like Will. I really do still like Will. I, I think Will Smith is a nice guy. He's a good actor. He, he was a charismatic, charismatic movie star. And uh, the slap changed things because he broke. He couldn't still be the guy that he was telling everybody he was. It does seem like the real Will is still somebody else than, he's, than what he's telling us. And honestly, good for you, man. You should have your own real life persona that we don't know about. You should have privacy. Who you're intimate with is none of our damn business nor should we know and if he is and he wants to protect that then so be it maybe that's why he's denying I, I don't know but for him to deny what's false and what's not and who's coming at him and who's emasculating him i i just i this hard denial was wild to me denies claim unequivocally false stories completely fabricated um post reach out for more comment uh yeah i mean like look who cares why did you engage is, is, is the bigger question. I, I'm curious. And why would you give it to TMZ? Do you, anyone else surprised by this? I mean, okay, tell, set the record straight. But of all the things to set the record on, this is the loudest thing you're going to do? It's just, it's it surprised me. We got more on it because Jada has also responded. You're not going to miss that one. I'm going to put that in a separate video. So hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for all alerts, smash that like button. Oh boy, we're going to have to hear what she has to say about this too. Uh, but this Will Smith drama just keeps on going. And I, I like Lewis did yesterday in our live, watch that show. I'm going to put it at the end here. I, I do blame Jada as well for opening up the floodgates and all of this. She should have just left the family business to, you know, family details to the family and not public. That red table talk helped no one. She keeps thinking it did, but no, it only cracked that family, I think, even further uh, and made the public just feel weirder about them uh, when it was really none of our damn business. So what do you guys think? I'm curious your thoughts. Stay tuned for more. And there's that first video. Go click it on the left. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet. Yeah.